Hello, I'm Jay, owner of Volunteer Audio in Oliver Springs, Tennessee. Got my friend Howard here with me. He's a YouTuber. He's got a channel called Headshot Rides. Definitely look it up. Check out all the videos he has about Harleys, a lot of comparison videos, a lot of really neat stuff. So he's brought us his 2020 Road Glide. It's got the stock audio system. And well, I'll just let Howard tell you why he's here. Yeah, I'm here for a big reason that a lot of people are here because let's just face it, Harleys suck as far as their stock units, man. Now, now the head unit is okay, but once you get over 60 miles an hour, you can't really hear much of what's, what's being made out as far as your music, especially if you have a helmet on, then it even furthers that issue. And then when Mrs. Hegshot actually rides on the back, she has an even worse time trying to hear. So that's why I'm here, man, to get some clear sound and something that we can both enjoy when we're on the road at any speed. So one of the good things Howard's already done is he's got some clips of the audio going down the road so we can see what it sounded like before. Now we're gonna do a, a huge upgrade. We're gonna take out the GTS radio that normally you'd have to flash with Harley software to make it decent and usable. And we're gonna put in the Soundstream Reserve HDHU 14 SI. If you've seen our other videos, you already know it's a big improvement. It's got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, but it also has a 13 band EQ and really awesome adjustable crossovers. We're also gonna add a lot of power. We're doing the Hertz SP4.900. That is a thousand watt RMS, 2000 watt peak amplifier, along with the Hertz SPL Show SX165neo six and a half in the front, and the SX690 six by nines in the lids for Ms. Hegshot. She'll be able to hear Perfect. it as well as feel it. It'll be so loud. <laughs> so another warning, these systems are so loud, you don't need to listen to them at full volume for a very long time. We want to get it loud enough that you can hear it going down the road, louder than the wind, louder than the engine. But we also want it to be clear, and we don't want you to continue to come back for upgrades because your hearing is now gone. Okay. All right. So let's get this bike tour apart. And when we get done, we'll do a walk away, and we'll get some footage of it going down the road to show you just how big that improvement was. Can't wait. This video is brought to you by VolunteerAudio.com, your number one source for all things Harley-Davidson audio. From individual radios, speakers, and amps, to complete plug-and-play amp and speaker systems, we've got you covered. And once you've ordered your package from Volunteer Audio, it includes lifetime tech support. And we have the very best step-by-step -step installation video so you can install it yourself and save money. All right, let's do a quick comparison of the speaker. So here's the factory speaker. Now this isn't the lowest end Harley speaker. This is the Boom Stage 1. It's got the little tweeter to the side. But one thing we know for sure, all speakers have a magnet. That magnet controls the woofer and decides how much power it can handle. There's no magnetic properties to this thing at all. I don't even know how Harley made this work. Here's our new Hertz speaker. It's got a neodymium magnet on it. Extremely strong to the point that it will attach to our wall and hang by it. Pretty crazy how much more magnet is on this. It's neodymium, it's about 40 times stronger than strontium, which is what most speakers are made out of. But because it's so strong, it can still be small, fit in these pods with no modification at all. Hertz makes these specifically for the motorcycle, so it is a drop-in and it's gonna be completely waterproof too. I've gotta get rid of this thing, it's junk.
want to know more about me? Here it is. Headshot. This is my confession, only at my own discretion. Let them have a peak of session, but don't now, of course, the impression. I got I my visor closed, by the way. Man. I had an alteration. Let me show you the other side before my transformation. About to get real, yeah. my 20s were filled with beef. Coming, I'm a raisin, two boys, and these prescription pills. Mm. Just thinking about those times makes me realize it was a different time, different me. But it's so part of yo. Started in the at this point, one here and there. I can hear pretty, pretty well, actually. Man, how could this turn so abruptly on me? I can't discern. Didn't realize I was so close to the fight. But feeling long ago, my heart just keeps thinking. Angel in one ear, whispering devil in the other. Snicker, you are better than this. You can't keep living this. All right, so today I want to do the sound test after the install that Volunteer Audio did. Eyes are closed. By the way, I'm at volume 30 and it goes up to 50. That's a 38. Crystal clear, dude. Let's turn it up even louder. 45. You can hear every drum, you can hear every guitar, you can hear the lyrics just um, insanely well. Alright, we're going to play the same song. Now that you get a, I don't even need to do that, check this out. Boom, I can play it. Hold this in. With this new stereo, with this new head unit here, I actually have a mute button now which is freaking awesome. But now I want to get on the interstate. Because generally 45 to 50, I could hear my music not nearly as clear as this, but I could still hear it. Now I want to get on the interstate for a little while and then see what the clarity is like there. 40. 80 miles an hour. All the way up. It's insane. How clear. All right, so we've got this road glide done. It sounds absolutely amazing. I'm so excited to let you hear it. We're here at Beach Park Baptist Church in Oliver Springs, Tennessee, just down the road from our shop. And we've got about 250, 260 feet that we can walk and let you hear just how loud it is. Now, you rode it here. What do you think so far? Yeah, it's, uh, it's incredible how much of a difference this actually makes. What was even more impressive is the install was not hard. So even somebody like me, where I typically say, oh, I'm not doing that, it was actually pretty freaking easy, and we were actually filming the whole time too. So yeah. it, it was super easy install, but the sound clarity is incredible. Yeah, so when we get done with this, you say, I want that done to my bike. <laughs> Maybe you don't have the ability to ride out to Tennessee. We've got great DIY videos, step-by-step, -step, showing you how to put this in. But also at Volunteer Audio, we do all the hard parts before it ever ships. The amp's already mounted to a road glide plate. It's already pre-wired to a T-harness. The gains are set, the filters are set. We make it so easy. All you have to do is know how to disassemble the bike and reassemble it, which we show you on video. So I'm ready to hear it. Yeah, me too, dude. Let's All right, do it. so we're going to get this going and we're going to do a quick walk away. Bass. Yeah. Yeah. It's got a good low end. 
Now, you know, we got to do a copyright free track, so exactly. can't play our favorite music, but. Right. There are a few notches in full, so I want it loud enough to hear. Right. Here we are, we're uh, coming up on about 150 feet already. That mic is tiny in the video, but the sound is not. Let's go ahead and walk the rest of the way. Yeah. We're here just in time for everybody to show up. <laughs> So pretty much the whole parking lot can be jamming out to whatever you're listening to. Yep. I think it sounds great. All right, so if you want to get this done, reach out to us at volunteeraudio.com. Definitely check out Headshot Rides YouTube channel. And if you're watching this on Headshot Rides YouTube channel, check out Volunteer Audio's YouTube channel. Jay, I appreciate you. Yeah, thank you so much. You, brother. I think it's awesome. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe both channels. Like the videos. Share it with your friends. And as always, God bless. Hold them down. <laughs>